Capricorn. Hey. If this video found you, welcome. I am Nick, baby. I am your reader. This is the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. And this video finds you when it should, okay? This reading, these readings are timeless. What we are channeling today is the energy of this total solar eclipse. Now, if you didn't get the chance, go watch uh, the Earth sign readings, the total solar eclipse, and it will kind of give you some background on what is changing, what is taking place in our lives during this total solar eclipse, right? So this is the energy of the light and dark, the light and dark energy in our connections and things that may need to be transformed, things that may transform. The eclipse is in Aries, so be mindful of conflict. That is um, things being brought to the surface that need to be checked on, looked at, changed in any sort of way. It could be connections, it could be jobs, it could be friendships, it could be even be family. Um, so be, be mindful of... The interactions we're having with people since this total solar eclipse so spirit may be trying to show you something um just be open that's what I, i'm getting be open okay those of you that are new i do pray and sage off camera so let's go ahead and get started spirit guides and ancestors show us what we need to know for my capricorn loves at this time what is going on in their energy that they may need to be aware of or may be coming toward them. Okay, we got, yeah, we got two. We want three, so we'll just go ahead and get one more. Um, okay. The overall energy for you, Capricorn, is I try to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. So someone is a runner. This may even be a twin flame connection. That is what I'm getting here there are feelings of anger inside me that need to be released before i explode so that is also in your energy so someone feels wound up bound up it's given definitely given conflict baby i feel overwhelmed i am drowning in my own thoughts so this could be you this could be someone else at the bottom of the deck we have i know what i am doing I play dumb to keep you confused. Okay. Well, dang. Okay. Well, Cappy, let's see. Let's get into this. This feels like, um, hmm. Kind of feels like you, but uh, someone else is speaking to you through these messages. Okay, put people where they go so you would know better than I would know. I'm just here to read the energy, love. All right, Spirit, tell us about trying to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. I see three, three, three on the timer. Spirit, God, and ancestors, show us what we need to know about this particular energy others opinions and father wounds is what came out others opinions i feel bound by my culture and my family beliefs on how i should live my life i'm working towards breaking free from lim limiting myself based on these beliefs father wounds my father is a big influence on my behavior as an adult I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. Okay, so somebody's pressed about daddy's opinion, okay? But they are run, they ran from the connection because of I feel like family is playing a big part here because it does say others' opinions, but I also the clarity that came out with father wounds, I feel like a person's family. They were worried about how they would be perceived in this connection. So, of course, it was easiest to run. Spirit, there are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. I am attached to my ex. 
emotionally, physically, or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection attached to my ex is the feeling. Yeah, somebody is stuck in a connection I felt with the 333. So someone may be, someone may know somebody's family opposed to you, Kathy. Uh, somebody else may not be known. Okay, you, you may know this person's family or flip it, switch it. You may be the person that don't know the family that they want to go towards, but they are worried about other people's opinions, which keeps them attached to an ex. I feel overwhelmed and I am drowning in my own thoughts. My fantasy, you're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and I use them for inspiration. I want you. Okay, so this person is reaching out to you spiritually, telepathically, but they're not doing the work to move the connection the way that you may want. But let's remember, everything happens in divine timing. Jealousy is at the bottom of the deck. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Okay, so this person may feel like someone is moving on. Again, put people where they go, y'all. I don't know. I don't know who you are in this connection or what this is. But definitely, this is a big energy of someone needs to love themselves and learn to stand on their own two feet. Not saying that we don't need others. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is others' opinions should not affect you as much, especially at this big age, baby. Because everybody on this channel is over 18. So you should be able and capable if you are of sound mind, to make decisions best for yourself, okay? And um, staying attached to an ex, baby, that's giving major tower. Somebody is definitely going to walk themselves right down that, that plane of a tower, whether it's you, whether it's them, because what's meant to be will always be. Spirit will definitely always show up in different ways, which is going to create, I feel, many towers because... This person needs to learn to stand up and be resilient with themselves and them fa their family because it's giving karmic family. Let's just speak on that. A lot of times we are really, it's really hard to cut off family and friends that we've been around for a long time. But ultimately, karmic is karmic. It don't matter if it's family or friends. Spirit, tell me about others' opinions and father wounds. We got the seven of pentacles coming in. I can't keep these cards up there long, love, because it is, they're not made for this. <laughs> I use them for personal readings, very much so. All right, Spirit, we got the Three of Pentacles attached to my ex. Definitely, um, again, the third party situations. It's so many eyes on this connection. Like, I felt someone is staying attached to an ex for what is perceived. This is not even a healthy connection is what I just heard. Because if everybody is on the outside looking in, why is the sun striped like that? The sun is not whole. Someone is not whole in this connection. But you got so many people watching. So somebody feels like they need to conform to what people think. And I keep feeling that. So somebody's working in a connection with the Seven of Pentacles that they don't want to be in because of how they'll be perceived by their community, by society. It's somebody could have even, it's a lot, a lot of eyes on here. So someone may have even married someone for how they were being seen. Oh, we got the strength coming in. I can't keep that up there because of course, Big Buddy is getting um, his ass spanked. I'm not going to lie. He getting his ass spanked. And I feel like, this is Leo energy. I feel like spirit may have even put this person in a position to take that ass whooping because you got to figure out. And that ass whooping will be very much so these towers because I keep hearing towers. That is plural. We got the Knight of Cups. Uh, okay. At the bottom of the deck. So, you know, there is a love that this person has for whoever their fantasy is. And it says, I'm back, bitches. So somebody is going to eventually break loose from this because this is past energy. And the current energy is, yes, they are physically or 
spiritually still attached to this ex or even emotionally. But I feel like they're working on it. I do. With the Three of Pentacles, I feel like it is the person in the connection. It is the person that's longing for someone else. And it is spirit. Even though people are watching, I heard, like a hawk. If you think about a hawk, a hawk has very keen eyesight. So someone may even be um, criticizing how this person is moving. Because this person wants to move away from this ex. So the family might not even know this person. These people are separated or um, in separate, some sort of separation. Because you can live in a house and be separated from someone emotionally. Like you can sleep in the same bed and still be emotionally distant from somebody else. Crack the deck on the Six of Swords and the Lovers. It's not always about physical distance because if you're not there spiritually or emotionally, you kind of are going through the same thing. And this is what? The sun. They looking for their happiness. Leo energy again. Okay, give me a... Uh, I was going to say give me a second, but yeah, give me a second, y'all. All right, Cappy, I'm back. Okay, so... I was trying to handle something and then hit the wrong button, as I tend to do often, y'all. But we're ready to clarify what is going on in this energy for you at this time. Let's see. Let's see, loves. I feel like someone had to stop in this connection and handle something because that is what I'm getting you know being controlled by another's opinions definitely is saying healing needs to happen staying in a connection that a person can't grow healing needs to happen I see 1333 on the timer let's go ahead and jump into it love see what spirit wants you to know spirit tell us about this seven of pentacles for father wounds and others opinions it wants to come out we'll take it but we'll take one more with it there we go all right so we got the ace of wands and the eight of wands it's given nine of wands love someone is standing their ground there may be communication, yeah, but this person is passionate about something. Passionate about moving forward because this is a ship. It is giving Cancerian energy. The chariot is, is giving the Six of Swords. Spirit moving you forward. This could be you. This could be someone else. This is in past energy, in my past energy position. Spirit, tell me more about this Ace to the Eight of Wands. The cycle, it was a completion of a cycle. And that's what I'm saying. So whoever is, is pressed about these family opinions, these friends, this community, and that they should keep working at it, the cycle is over. People can't tell you where you are in life. Only spirit and your ancestors can guide you where you need to go. And that is right up under this ace with this, um, this ship. Spirit, tell me more about this. Yeah, this was a family situation, y'all, with the four of wands coming in. That was a family. It was a family situation. It could even be a separation because I did say separation before. Spirit, give me one more. Ooh, we got the magician. Y'all see where it flew? The magician. Someone is manifesting, moving forward. Now I'm taking how how it go. You you could be manifesting moving forward. You could be manifesting communication. Um, this is Gemini energy, but let's let's talk about manifestation. It's where you're calling in things, but it flew over here to the ace as well as the eight of wands. So again, let's be clear that is the nine of wands. So someone may be manifesting the the strength. 
because the strength did come out the strength to stand up to these families these friends this community whatever is going on someone is just manifesting forward movement i do see that here these are all wands these are desires even your manifestations are things you desire to call into your life to bring towards you things like that spirit give me one more do i need one more yeah this person is in despair with the four of cups this person is unhappy this could be you it could be them someone's unhappy in the connection or was unhappy in the connection because i do feel an energy of separation all right y'all we, we are going to go ahead and move forward because i feel like that is clear the spirit tells us about the three of pentacles and i'm attached to my ex this is the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is definitely moving away. Knights are about movement. Someone's moving away possibly slowly, may, maybe in a year or so, whatever. They may have been going through this for a year trying to get away from someone, like diligently. Because we all say, I'm tired of my person, da 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 But does that mean that we're actually tired enough to do the work? That's what I'm hearing. Are you really genuinely ready to do the work, put in the work? And that takes me back because I looked over at this seven of pentacles. You know, the seven of pentacles is about working, investing. Are you ready to put that kind of work into yourself, Capricorn, to move forward? Even though like, okay, now we have the perception of all these eyes. But this older lady in the front in the blue with the with the clouds on is being guided to walk away from this. I feel like someone is being guided. It could be a feminine energy or a masculine with the knight. Spirit, tell me more. We have the Queen of Swords. Someone is being led for using their discernment. The Queen of Swords is a discerning energy where we see things, but we may know things as well. And y'all know me, blue and purple is about intuition. There's purple in this card, but there's blue as well. So somebody may even intuitively know that they need to release this X. Even if this X is not releasing them. Excuse me. We have the Page of Cups. I feel like that is just explaining that someone may try to walk away. Because I was speaking about releasing. And someone may be ready to let someone go. And then here they come with this small offer. It could even be an apology. I'm sorry I treated you like this or that. And then you stay. You continue down this cycle. Like I keep getting. Someone is ready to turn over a new leaf. Change their life. And that is what is going to happen. 1919. That is what's going to happen in this connection. Because this is current energy, love. Spirit, tell me about this page of cups to the queen of swords. And this person may even know. And we all, let's, can we remember that we all embody feminine and masculine energy? This person in this Queen of Swords energy may even know that they are being strung along with small offers. Because when I look down, she's looking at that page of cups like, what? But this person ultimately is in the Queen of Wands energy. And again, we have... And owl. Owls are about wisdom. Someone has learned something, and that is clarifying this too. Um, clear, this is also clarifying the Queen of Swords. I don't know why I was going to say two, but I wanted to say also two got ready to come out. So two may be significant, okay? Spirit, give me one more. This page is watching this Queen of Wands who is definitely in a bag, thinking about what they want. This page is like, okay, this person is going after the things they desire. I don't want them to get away. So let me hurry up and offer something. And this is a feminine energy. So let's speak about the energy of love is about attracting it doesn't necessarily have to be masculine or feminine but there is a tower 
there's going to be a tower, y'all. I feel like this person was already surrounded by sharks because there's sharks in this thing. So somebody tried to love someone who really was not mm, good for them. Let's just call it that. Now, if we look at the um, the serpent, it's giving your monger. So this person may be tricky. Your monger is uh, Loki's offspring from mythology. This person may be tricky. Like I said, I was getting something from this Page of Cups energy. Like they're trying to win and do it underhandedly. But somebody's focused on what it is they want to be moving towards with this Queen of Wands energy. This Queen of Wands ain't let nothing bother her. She's focused on this falcon or this owl. I thought it was an owl, but it's kind of looking more like a falcon. Something may happen fast. If you think about falcons, um, initially when I said falcon, I thought about the Paraguayan falcon, which moves at what, 100 miles per hour? If y'all know, drop it down in the comments. I might come back and drop it in the comments, but it is the, one of the fastest birds to date that we know of. So something may happen fast that this person is desiring. But let's be clear. This tower may happen fast as well. And this is current energy. So something could change like that. Ooh, okay. Well, Spirit said what Spirit says. So we're going to move on to strength and my fantasy. Spirit, tell me more. Ooh, y'all. I'm, I'm clarifying over here, but y'all seen it fly over here to this, this queen of swords. It was the three of swords, but it's coming in crossing. So that was the challenge at a point. So this person may have broke your heart. You may have broke this person's heart. There is a masculine and a feminine energy in this, but it could also be like family. It could be different types of relationships. It could even be work love. Put people where they go. Somebody may not have given to the connection. Spirit, give me something for the strength in my fantasy. The challenge is this person is in love. The Ace of Cups, I feel like this is self-love, but this person is in love with you're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos of you. Y'all seen it fly up there. And the strength is up under it because I have to leave him covered up. So... You could be in your masculine energy. It could be a masculine energy that is in love. Somebody's in love. It could be self-love. It could be being in love somewhere else. But this person's cup was depleted and that was the challenge and the connection. There is nothing that you can see in this cup. So depletion or very little may have been there because dealing with other people, continually giving to things that does not suit us will leave us depleted. That's what I'm feeling with this energy. Spirit, give me more. Oh, we got the King of Cups. Now, we know the King of Cups is big love. But this person, I'm hearing right, right person, wrong time. This King of Cups, definitely diplomatic about how they do things. But if they just felt like somebody was just coming for their cup, I could see them being closed off. Y'all know that this person definitely is in their feelings. That's what I heard. In their feelings. This is the moon in reverse. So things that were hidden are hidden are now being revealed. And it flew over here to this Ace of Cups. Big love. So this person may be... Um, I heard their family may be finding out. Okay. Someone may be finding out that this King of Cups is in love with someone other than who the family wants them to be with so that y'all can stay with me, okay? This King of Cups, I do feel like it's self-love because self-love is at the bottom of everything. You can't love someone else if you don't love yourself. But this King of Cups is touching this Three of Swords. So I don't know, y'all. Spirit, tell me more about the moon in reverse, things being revealed to this King of Cups. I definitely. Y'all, what did I say? What did I say? The moon to the devil to the two of cups. 
Somebody is obsessing about this new love. This inspiration. This King of Cups is what we're clarifying to the moon. And the moon clarifies the devil. Capricorn energy. We got Aries out here too. Um, Gemini. I, I've tried to call them out as we were going. But ultimately what we get is this King of Cups is on the path. And they may now be revealing or people are figuring out that this King of Cups has new love or is calling in new love. Some may have Leo, Aries, Capricorn. Um, yeah, Capricorn, that's you. Are you in the King of Cups energy? You got new love coming in? That's going to cause a tower. It is. Because the tower is right next to the devil with the two of cups. I don't feel like the devil is devilish ways, like letting our lower self guide us. I feel like someone is obsessing about this love. Ace plus two is three. The three of cups, that's a celebration, y'all. It's not always a third party. That's a celebration. There will be a celebration out here. Ooh. With this knight. Oh, that's not the knight. That's the king of swords. Big boss energy. Somebody is planning. But we seen this uh, jack of swords fly over here to the three of swords. So where somebody is strategically moving, they have a plan to either explain this three of swords or figure out how to get past the three of swords to move forward with this love. That's what we see right here with this love offer. Y'all see, they went in two separate ways, y'all. We ain't playing no games. Yep, with the queen, queen of pentacles. Now, we do have, do we have matches over here? We don't have matches. We do, and we don't. We don't. So, there may be an energy of someone focusing on their stability at this time. And they might not even see this coming with the two of swords. They might be conflicted when it comes with the five of wands. But moving forward is the ultimate goal. And this person is stable in their own right. And I feel like it's you, Cappy. Let's figure it out. Let's, if you've been here this long, I definitely appreciate you. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the all button. That way you'll be notified as I upload when I go live and all the good things that happens in this family as a community. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Aw, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I love that. Okay, so Capricorn, this has been your reading. I appreciate you being here. Anything that you need from me is down in the description box. Uh, what else? I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance, baby. But above all things, I do wish you love. So until next time, I love you all.